What do you want, you little magpie? There's a magpie in a tree right there, you guys. Camp robber. <laughs> camp robber. Yeah, you're a little camp robber, you little son of a bitch. How would I get a BB gun and fucking blow your fucking brains out? I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Hey, why don't you come down here? Come on. Go eat your bike. Go eat your bike. It's on the other side of that, out of the tent there. Yeah, I guess. Is it Matt Pie? Here. I got to watch Go get your bike. You got new threads on? You're ready to go. Yeah, I got those. I donate. I donated those tents to your cause. Somebody grabbed them. Nobody grabbed them. No, no, no. I, I, I donated. Hey, hey. Those, those were mine. I donated those to your cause. I see them. I grabbed the sons of bitches for you. Because uh, they're throwaways. If someone threw them away, man. I was going to grab them anyway. Someone just left them there for somebody. They didn't want them to because they, they're they probably tourists. They can't take the shit on their trip back home with them. It wouldn't be worth it to them. They just buy the shit here and use it and then leave it. You know what I mean? So they're going to leave them there for people to take. That's what they do. People here in Alaska are amazing. I mean, I mean how many free, how many free uh, uh, rods have you got over the years? Uh, fishing rod and reels. Probably several over the years, huh? You can't count that many? The last one was a nice one, man. No? So, yeah, so where are we going over your bike here? It's over here, I think, sure. Where's my coat at? Is there a coat over there? You might want to look in the tent. Where are you going? You going to Salvation Army? Or are you going back to Freddy's? I'm going to go if you want to go. There's James' bike. So, hey, it's almost time for the uh, dumpster dive demolition. Uh, we will. If you want to hang out with Let's go do the route. Let's start. Yeah, film me. We'll start out. We'll go to Papa. The first one we'll go to is Papa John's. Let's go check it out over there. I got to check it. It's a mess. We got to clean it when we get back. What are you doing, Maggie? You always like to get in the shot, don't you? Is your coat in there? You got your coat in there? You probably left it at the hospital. That was what you were wearing. I just need it. I know what it's at. I think that's what you were wearing. We saw this out. I got to clean it up real well. Yeah. This is a nice coat. Uh huh? I know what it's at. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm, you remember the show MASH? Yeah. I feel like I'm in a mass uh, unit right here where the uh, roofs are hanging, camouflage. Here's that nice branch. Oh, you found it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, the butter knife. Okay. Yeah. Well, come on, Mr. Duncan. Hold on. I've got to wrap up the bag. Okay. 
Wrap it up a sleeping bag. I have to. Got to. It's a uh, uh, Boy Scout thing. I got you. What about the Boy Scout thing about keeping your camp clean? <laughs> well, I got you there, didn't I? Yeah, almost. Almost? <laughs> well, Grandma taught me how to do the first the roll sleeping bag right. I got gotcha. you. I just learned you that. Cub Scout. Uh-huh. It's kind of like folding an American flag. We were taught that in the Cub Scouts, too, remember? Actually, they taught that in our grade school, how to fold the flag. I went to St. Paul's in Hammond, Indiana. Say what? Yes, we did. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. And all the dumb shit. All these liberals, the liberals, they get all taken out of our schools, uh, you know, Madeline Murray's of today, you know, and they, she got prayer taken out of the schools. Communist, uh, atheist. That's right, you know. These Obama lovers. Mm -hmm. Hey, what the fat, what they, hey, you're about the fascist, the Muslim, and, uh, the lawyer, and the, the black guy, Walked in a bar, you hear about him walking in a bar, bartender says, Yes, Mr. President, can I help you? The fascist, Marxist, Muslim. A fascist, a Marxist, a Muslim walked into a bar. Bartender says, Yes, Mr. President, can I help you? Are you ready? I heard a plane. It's, oh, it's going down. No, it's just, I'm just joking. I can't say I shouldn't say that. Well, Mr. Duncan, we're going to sign off here on this uh, segment of uh, living in a uh, homeless in Alaska, kicking it on the Kenai, and, uh, wow, look at those mushrooms again. Isn't it just a beautiful sight? Hey, don't swear on my show. Hey, I didn't mean that. Someone just can swear to get into it. Yeah. Show. Okay, beat their ass. I'm oh, sorry. Well, what can we do? <laughs> to poison them, man. Yeah, there you go. Well, we'll, we'll break out to 45. Smart. Yeah, we'll just we'll pick them off with uh, that uh, a, that uh, AR-15 you got in your in your tent. Yeah. yeah. Why do you have that gun? I don't even got a slingshot. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, so, what'd you do with it? Did you sell it or put it take it to the pawn or? No, I didn't. You kept it? I always got something around. Oh, yeah. Yep. Well, me think so. well, we believe in our Second Amendment rights here in here in this, uh, in Digger's Camp. There's a lot of uh, NRA members that come NRA through here. Camp. And, uh... This is everybody's camp. This is everybody's camp. Unless you're a liberal, then you carry your ass. But you know what? You got to clean your mess up here, Mister Duncan. You got to clean this mess up. Yep. Yep. You got to clean this mess up, sir. And that's part of uh, the whole organization of your whole uh, your life, getting it all together. Yeah. But hey, we'll get to that later. Right now, a word from our sponsor.